What do the cast members say at Disneyland Galaxy's Edge about dueling with their lightsabers? What did Hasbro have to say when I gave them a call? What do all these sabers say in the fine print about whether you should use them for dueling or not? Today, we're gonna answer those questions. Stick around and find out. If you like Deadly Jedi weapons, vlogs from a galaxy far, far away, or anything Star Wars, make sure to hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our videos. They're swords! Should we be sword fighting with them? I don't know. Maybe. We do. Why? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. If this is your first time, we're finding the force. This is the Landorian. This is Obi Dad Kenobi. Hey, yes I am. And uh, welcome to our channel, guys. In today's video, we're talking about a hot, controversial topic. Should we be dueling with the lightsabers that we bought from Galaxy's Edge and the Hasbro lightsabers? We're not talking about these. Even though they're cool and the blade comes out, these uh, really neat Disney Parks lightsabers, they actually have similar blade attachments and everything, but we're not talking... Whoa! So, we're not talking about these $20 to $30 price lightsabers. Okay, what we are talking about are these Force FX metal hilt you know, replica status lightsabers that have like their motion activated, they they flash when they clash, and also the sabers you can find at Galaxy's Edge, either the Legacy Sabers or the Savi's Workshop custom lightsabers, right? All about the same price, full metal hilt, right? Should we be with them. dueling with them? So, I have to get this off my chest, okay? Because when we made our broken lightsaber video, everyone kept commenting, you're not supposed to duel with the sabers. Do not duel the lightsabers. Hey, those sabers aren't made for dueling. Hey man, don't do that lightsabers. <laughs> don't duel with the lightsabers. Don't do the lightsabers. Yeah, like that. That was good, buddy. Good job. I mentioned how we're, we're there. Opening day. We're in Galaxy's Edge. We want to buy a lightsaber. I walk up to the lady at the counter and said, can we duel with these? What did she say? Yes. Yes. They told us to duel with these lightsabers. They told us to duel with these lightsabers. You don't want two like WWE wrestlers like trying to kill each other with these things, right? But you know, they're made for some little bit of tap, tap, tapping, right? So let's just set the standard for dueling here, okay? You ready? We're, we've broken down all the strength of dueling into three categories. What's the first category? Baby Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> the very light tippity tap tapping that you would get if you gave two like three-year-olds uh, lightsabers. This category we are respectfully referring to as the youngling category, right? Oh yeah. Which you can see right here. I really hope I don't step in dog poop. You got my arm. So the next level is going to be the mid-level of dueling of strength that we're going to be called Padawan. That's how we duel. You can see it right there. Oh. 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 Boof. I boofed you. And the third and final category of strength for dueling when you're swinging for the fence, as they call it. We will call that level of strength of dueling Jedi level, all yeah, right? Like that. Which you can That's see right here. <laughs> Youngling, Padawan, and Jedi, right, for the strengths of dueling. So we're gonna refer to those as we're talking. So good news, we have found a someone to convert our Skywalker lightsaber. Yes. We have, huh? We found it, we shipped it off, and it should be coming back any day now, so look out for that video coming soon. And we also shipped another lightsaber to be converted too. So stay tuned, click the subscribe button. You don't want to miss our other secret saber conversion that we'll be posting that video after the Skywalker gets fixed. Right? Yeah, buddy. Boom. And that's why we deal with the squeaking. The, the way the blade is built is that this component here is made to wiggle and absorb some of the shock 
So those shock waves don't irradiate into the hilt and damage the electronics, right? Uh, that's the theory. What will happen if it damage the, the electronics? What happened? Well, that's what happened to our Skywalker saber is that the wires came loose and the blade didn't light up anymore because the hilt broke. Oh, that's a So they don't want you dueling in Galaxy's Edge. That's a no-no, right? But when you go home, they said it's safe to duel with them and that's what they're designed for. Besides, you're looking around and they've got blades and barrels all over the store, you know? It doesn't, and it looks like, hey, look, break a blade, buy another blade, buy another blade. There's like, oh, they're all over the place. They're plentiful. So you think your saber is going to last and if the blade breaks, well, you just buy a new one, right? That's weird. And that has happened to us, right? Mm -hmm. Remember when we were outside dueling? Who, what were we dueling with? What sabers? The very one, when you turn it on, it didn't light up. Yeah, so we finally got a big old dead spot in the blade. We're out here playing and, oh snap. Which is fine. We're gonna buy a new blade and that's all cool, except we didn't take into consideration how strong the internal components of the Legacy Sabres are. Hmm. So, which is why our whole video about um, our series where we're getting our Skywalker Sabre fixed is because I'm assuming that one little wire came loose and that the I've been hearing from a lot of you guys in the comments that the, the plastic components inside of our Sabres are not very strong. So maybe they can't you know, withstand the shock of all that dueling and stuff, right? So let's see what Shop Disney has to say on their website here because they started posting their Shop legacy sabers. Disney. So over here on the Shop Disney website, before it sold out, here's the Luke Skywalker lightsaber, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the fine print Ooh, of the saber. I can and see. nowhere here does it say anything about dueling or not dueling with them. Uh so what's the only warning, Landon, that it talks about uh, for this lightsaber? Choking hazard. Battery or something from the lightsaber can be a choking hazard or the little cap, I guess. But nowhere to here does it say, you know, don't beat your friends with it or, you know, isn't we've done a lot of reviews on the Hasbro lightsabers, right? Which make the cool sound. They're very similar, right? Hasbro. So I called up Hasbro because I had some questions about their products and their return policy and that kind of stuff. And I asked the lady straight up, are these sabers okay to duel with? And what did she say? I don't know. So she wouldn't say one way or the other if they encourage battling with their lightsabers. And let me tell you what my theory is, okay? If they say yes, then they're gonna get a whole bunch of broken lightsabers they're gonna have to fix. And they might even be legally liable if people are battling and they crack each other in the head or poke um, out a retina or something, okay? And put out a eye. But if they say no, that you cannot duel with these, I think there's some customers, some people, who want to buy force effect sabers to do a little light dueling with them and they're going to lose some customers. Let's take a look at Hasbro's website, okay? And it's what's kind of interesting is all of their recent lightsabers say something different, okay? So here, the Ahsoka saber that's not even out till June, okay? What? Here's the color changing Ahsoka saber. Here's what the fine print says. That's Toy produces flashes that may trigger epilepsy and seizures in individuals. Yikes! But, you know, doesn't say anything about, about hitting your friends with them. We the reviewed Kylo this, Ren. the Kylo Ren Force <laughs> Effects Elite, right? Yeah. And then if we look down in the fine print of this lightsaber, what does it say, Landon? AD LEDs, real metal hilt, unstable plasma effect. <laughs> and here's what's interesting. Down in this description, it says adult collectible. Hmm. Adult collectible? See, now that's, that's kind of vague, isn't it? Because you can collect something and you can battle with it, but they sound more like they're decorations, right? But it's very, it's still kind of vague. It's not saying one way or the other. Mace, the Mace Windu. Windu. Yeah, this is the older Saber. Came uh, out a while ago. Whoa. And down at the bottom, this says, oh. Now look at this caution label. Oh. Never use to strike other people or animals. Hmm. So finally, we've got a more specific type warning on the older lightsaber but it says don't hit people. But it doesn't say anything uh -uh, about hitting other lightsabers with it, no. right? Sword fighting, close, but no cigar, as they say. And then finally, we've got the newest Force Effects Palpatine lightsaber, right? 
Yeah. Now, what does this fine print say, Landon? Choking hazard. So then again, doesn't say anything about dueling, does it? It doesn't. Hmm. Crazy. Well, you're definitely taking a much bigger risk dueling with the force effect sabers. Because the blade doesn't come out. That's right. A dead spot can mean it's there forever. Because <gasps> maybe not everybody has three or four or sometimes $500. Five to get this converted, an LED or a NeoPixel Saber, that can cost a lot of money, right? But we can't forget, Hasbro does have a one year warranty on their products. But in a nutshell, of course there's more risk to dueling with the Force Effect Sabers over the Legacy and the Savvy's workshop, right? And thank you guys for all your comments that you guys have left about all the different problems you've had with these. Luckily, some of them were fixed with just changing the batteries out. So what do you think, Landon? Would you duel with your Force Effect Saber if this was yours? Uh uh Yeah, it's a little too scary, right? Who are people gonna duel with? You know, uh, not all of you guys are parents and have kids, right? A lot of you are young yourselves. Who are you gonna duel with? You gotta pick a friend or family yeah. member who knows not to swing it, swing this at you like a baseball bat, right? Yeah. So you gotta be careful. When he was only three or four years old, we were dueling with these sabers, and it seemed pretty harmless, even though That's, after years of fighting with them, they finally got a couple of dead spots on our older one. But he's getting so strong with the lightsabers, I went on Amazon and I found a couple of these face masks here. I'll, I'll put those in the link down I below. I think we're actually gonna make a video about dueling saber masks to protect our face, because he's come really close <laughs> with not only cracking me in the face with the blade, but also if you didn't catch our Dooku Legacy Saber review, because the blade comes out, that really mean metal hook out the front almost took out my eyeball too when you're waving it around like a crazy person. If you weren't around, I don't know who I would duel with. I wouldn't have anybody to duel with, dude. I'd be so lonely. Do you think it's safe to duel as a youngling? Yeah. Why do you think so? As long as you're gentle, it couldn't break anything. Probably not, right? So youngling is safe. Now, Padawan is where you're getting into more risky area, right? Yeah. That's still our goal, is to stay with Padawan and not get into the Jedi status, right? I don't want to do that. I think that should always be the goal. It's more about form and fun instead of strength and damage, right? Leave comments down below about what you think uh, about dueling with these sabers from either from Galaxy's Edge or from Hasbro, and if you guys think it's worth it, so thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Have an awesome Star Wars day. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we're dueling. We're dueling.